in our feature match, Matt Rivera with the one and only Jake the Snake Roberts taking on Killer Nichols with Boyd Bradford. Let's hear now some comments from Boyd Bradford and Killer Nichols, then we'll hear from Matt Rivera. Matt Riviera, you've been hiding behind the board of directors long enough. You're scared to death of this <laughs> man, aren't you? Yeah, you know you are. Well, November 19th in Pine Bluff, Arkansas, you're going to have to forget about your little love triangle with Tim Storm and Jeff Jett, and you're going to have to focus on this man, you understand? Killer Nichols. <laughs> Matt Riviera, you say you're Mr. 5.5? Well, you're looking at Mr. 666, and I know you're showing up to the match packing a little snake. Well, my friend, the only way you're leaving the building is in a body bag. And with Mr. Boyd Bradford here, it's going to be DDT City on you, Mr. Roberts. Yeah, that's right, Jake the Snake Roberts. You claim to be the master of the DDT. Well, I'm the man that perfected it, you understand? I hit a man with a DDT, his head bounces <laughs> off the mat like a basketball. <laughs> you better get ready, because this man's going to annihilate the both of you. <laughs> Hi again, fans. Tom Simon for Traditional Championship Wrestling. Saturday night, November 19th at the Pine Bluff Convention Center. It's the TCW Night of Legends. Matt Riviera, I hear that you're going to have a legend in your corner when you face Killer Nichols with Boyd Bradford. Well, that's right, Tom Simon. Everybody is talking about the killer that is on the loose in TCW Wrestling. And that man's name is Killer Nichols, the crown jewel of the Bradford Exchange. But on November the 19th, I'm going to have a man in my corner that everybody knows, Jake the Snake Roberts. And Boyd Bradford, you've been running your mouth, and oh, believe me, Jake knows that you've been saying that you are the true master of the DDT. But on November the 19th, I'm going to have the inventor of the DDT in my corner. Fans, we'll see him. On November Fans, we join this match now in progress. Chris Cruz along with Brian Thompson and Brian <laughs> Killer Nichols. You're laughing because Killer Nichols is dominating Matt Riviera in a way that we have never seen Matt being dominated. Look at Matt Riviera reaching out for advice and help from right there. You see in the legendary Jake the Snake Roberts. And look at this. Yeah, Matt Riviera saying, please help me, people. I wasn't saying that. It, oh, there's Boyd Bradford in, and this is exactly this is exactly why Matt Riviera brought in Jake the Snake Roberts. Matt Riviera, one of the smartest wrestlers in the business today. He knew what Boyd Bradford was can up you, to. Can you believe Matt Riviera was in the way of Boyd? His Boyd just wanted to get a closer look at the ring and check it out, and he just wanted to get in there and, and yell something. To Here comes Nichols. the cover one, two, a big kick out there by the big man Matt Riviera. That was this, rude. This may be one of the toughest challenges of Matt Riviera. Riviera's career here against Killer Nichols. That was rude on the behalf of Matt Riviera being in Boyd's way again. As I was trying to say before you rudely interrupted me. Jake the Snake Roberts has brought himself and other resources to bear here in traditional championship wrestling. He is going to be in the corner there, oh. Matt Riviera. And Matt is being now choked out. And I'm not sure if the referee has seen that Killer Nichols is using that tape. Using that, that, that tape. That tape. That, Medical tape is now that, choking out Riviera. That legal choke right here. No medical tape. I mean, you know, Killer Nichols, he's had to resort to that. He's undefeated here in traditional championship wrestling. One of the top stars going today. So dominant, and Matt Riviera dominant and loved by the fans as well. Here's the question, though, is how does Riviera deal with somebody as unpredictable, as vile and violent as Killer Nichols? That's one way to do it. Rang his bell right there with that jaw jacker. And finally, look, the referee is seeing what's happened here with that tape. I hate it just came unraveled. Nichols was so impressive earlier, and it just started falling off of his he was, wrist. His arms were just going so fast right there, oh. and Riviera runs right into a big elbow. The dominating nonstop killer Nichols sets, but sets too early. Oh, oh beautiful. There by Riviera, using kind of in a judo or jiu-jitsu maneuver, uses the momentum of killer Nichols oh. against him. You know, sometimes I think you could deem that an intentional situation there to, to do harm to your opponent throwing him into that that steel post that could be a disqualification i think it should be reviewed and riviera if there's boyd bradford who knows his bad killer nichols is in trouble riviera uh, will he be able to follow this up killer nichols it looks like his left arm is pretty much useless there and riviera knows that now here comes the whip into the rope and oh 
Buster with authority. Beautiful spine buster there. Riviera is really generating some heat here from the crowd. You got to watch Jake Roberts in the corner. He doesn't want to mess with Boyd Bradford. Boyd to DDT him in the next week. Watch out, though. Oh! oh! A beautiful and very, very simple maneuver there by Riviera. Riviera in the ropes there and drives Killer Nichols' head right into the ring. And uh, Killer Nichols just keeps coming back up and oh, watch oh, out, man, beautiful by Riviera. Watch Roberts. And look out, hey, oh. hey, Roberts with a right that hurt his hand. That's understandable on the hard head there Bring of the Killer Nichols and Boyd Bradford is furious. Ring that bell. Ring the bell. Well, Killer Nichols' bell just did get rung there by Jake the Snake no. Roberts. Yeah, right here, disqualification. He and has a, no business putting his hand on a combatant in this As you ring. would say, a very helpful Jake the Snake oh. Roberts. Riviera quickly moves in. Oh. Quickly moves in. That should do it. Here that, comes the one yeah, that you one know. one-night stand, no, no doubt about it. Yeah. A yeah. beautifully executed one-night stand. That would have been the end. No, it wouldn't. And there is Boyd Bradford no, who boy. doesn't realize. No. Look out. Boyd, Look out! Get, get out of there, boy! Get please! The, the fans play. are calling for the DDT! Let him go! They're no. calling for the DDT! Oh. Oh. I think he broke his neck! It looks like he broke something. He certainly lost his hat, and Jake Roberts has got it. Are you kidding me? Roberts makes me sick. I think he might have broken the neck of Boyd Bradford. As you see, Riviera is gonna get the Duke by the disqualification, and now he's choking him with his old tie! Roberts, uh, the one of the dirtiest players in the game, and he's showing why. Get him he off should of be it. afraid of a DDT and of Jake the Snake Roberts. Matt Riviera, a smart move there to bring in Jake to back him up. He had Killer Nichols beaten with well, that one night stand. Yeah, both these gentlemen better watch their backs because this is not the last you've seen of Killer Nichols. I can promise you that. The action continues here in traditional championship wrestling. Man, I can't believe he's trying to dance. Really?